the choir parts oftentimes are outlining keyboard harmony. And so once you start to look at it through that lens, that take a lot of the guessing game out of what the melodic line should be, you know? Because that's what choirs are, basically. They're just singing chords. And they're always mm -hmm. gonna be moving the way chords move on the piano, you know? So you'll find... True. Choirs are gonna move like that, you know? Either the chord's gonna be like that, like that, or like that. And the same sort of rules we talk about when we're moving on the piano with chords, it's the same way vocal lines work. In fact, instruments were designed based on how vocal lines move, right? So that's why when we talk about voice leading and how we utilize chords and stuff, it's all designed based on just how the natural human voice likes to move when they're singing together as a group. And so if you start to, when you're analyzing your pieces, if you look at the vocal lines, like all three, and look at how they move, you're going to realize that, oh, really? It's just triads moving all over the keyboard. And then once I came to that understanding that, okay, that allows me to learn and internalize choir pieces a lot quicker, because then I know if the soprano is here, the alto is supposed to be here, and then the tenor is going to be a fourth below that. Or if it's a minor, then the tenor might jump up here, but you know, you're not going to find vocal lines moving in fifths. That's a no, no. You're not going to find vocal lines moving in octaves. Um, you're not, you're rarely, you find vocal line moving in fourths unless it's in a form of a triad. You're not, you don't see vocal lines moving in fifths. It's in thirds, fourths, and sixths. And usually the fourth appears either between the soprano and the alto if the chord's in first inversion or the tenor and the alto if the chord's in second version. And then when the chords are in version, then tenors and alt and sopranos moving in sixths. And if it's in first inversion, same thing, tenor and soprano moving in sixths. So very rarely you find an interval of a fifth between the tenor and the soprano. It's usually the chords, the voice, voices works better in, in inversion. 